old champions. Welcome to this good old Bitcoin technical analysis where I'm going to be providing you with my honest and transparent views of the market, really explaining exactly what I'm looking at next. Of course, I'm going to be giving this in an educational way so you can really get into my brain and let me pass on to you the knowledge and insights that I have of this market. I'm going to be going over the price action that I foresee happening over the next really one week horizon. So that's the timeline of this video. Uh, yeah, I hope that you, of course, learn, enjoy, and are ready with me to profit on the next move. First of all, though, uh, one thing, something that I've been really emphasizing lately, and it should be second nature to you by now, but very important, what type of trader are you, right? If you are a swing trader, you are absolutely having to remain patient right now. There are very little amount of trades on Bitcoin. One a week, if you're lucky, right? They all coins... I personally think is what swing traders should be focused on right now. The altcoins are giving very good opportunities. Bitcoin, a little bit less opportunity in terms of the amount of trades. But for you day and scope traders out there, of course, there are trades to be had. For that, if you're on those lower term time frames, you've got to be on the order flow, right? If you're not on the order flow as a lower term time frame trader, I can only imagine how low your win rate would be. You have to be successfully able to read this, right? So when we read this, what do we have going on right now? First of all, I want to actually bring the attention to the CCV setup that we currently are in today. Of course, opening outside of the previous day's value. We got the acceptance below previous day value area high. Target is actually $60,718. That would complete the bearish CCV setup of today. I'm actually looking down for one slightly lower pivot, and that would be down to Friday's low. And that would, why, why? Let me explain this. I want you to understand. So this is because of the way liquidity works and the way that I view liquidity. And then this is something that I have very well built up statistics on. And especially for Bitcoin, right? This is my main asset of trading. And what I love about this is that when we see this, this is a regular occurrence, by the way, and it's this type of data that gives big edges. Um, when we actually see this, you can see the Friday's low, wick down, swing failure pattern. Do I think that was a long trade opportunity for me? And this is where you can actually see it did work out, right? If you longed this SFP, you actually would have made some pretty decent profits as you come up for that double top. <laughs> but nevertheless, you would have made some pretty decent profits. But what do I see here in my brain with the statistics that I have acquired? Okay, I see a lot of people thinking, okay, long swing failure pattern, stop loss below $60,000. OK, aim up for the rally. And of course, uh, this time it actually did work, in my honest opinion. And, and you would have made profits off of this. If you're a lower term time frame trader along in this SFP, I find it hard to believe you wouldn't have locked in any profits on this rise, to be honest with you. So I do think it was a successful trade this time for those lower term time frame traders. I did not take this long. Uh, reason being, uh, I do not like to take longs when the psychological number here was ever so slightly front run. You know, nine times out of 10, we're coming down to take that liquidity. So I am, you know, that's the basically the, the, the foremost biggest reason why I did not take this long trade. Again, it would have been profitable, but I did not take that for that simple reason. So I would actually personally like to see uh, price come down and take that liquidity, right? So we do have, once again, that bearish CCV setup intraday, which would hold the higher low. But I would like to see that liquidity taken uh, below $60,000. What is the thing that I find very interesting, to be honest with you, is the way that we front run this lower liquidity. And then we actually formed a pretty perfect double top. So what do I say about double tops? Well, I'm also thinking this is a place where it's very highly likely that we'll come up and take this higher liquidity. I mean, this is where you have to be on your toes with Bitcoin. You can never become complacent, become lazy and ignore new emerging trends. You know, for the past five years of Bitcoin, it is extremely common. That, and I'm being very, very high probability Bitcoin's going to come down and take out $60,000. And at the same time, Historically and statistically speaking, it's very unlikely that Bitcoin leaves a double top. All I would say is this is not a major double top. Why? Because we're on such a lower term time frame, lower intraday level. If this lower high uh, or double top, let's say, if this double top was put in, for example, on Monday, the sixth high, where we have much more higher resting liquidity, it's more of an important level for me. This is not too important, but nevertheless, 
not something we can ignore as traders. It's data that we have to take into consideration when taking a trade, right? So I do feel Bitcoin is is playing, uh, well, you could say one or two things, right? It's either playing some games on us or it's starting a new trend, something that we need to be aware of. OK, so once again, I repeat, we cannot be lazy and complacent. We need to be, keep our eyes on the market. OK, there cannot be a day that we go without looking at this, because if you start to become lazy and miss this information, you're going to wonder why your trades are no longer working. One of the biggest edges that CC has is that we're always on the charts. We're always looking at the data. And if new strategies start to come into play once more, we'll be on top of the ball. OK, ahead of the curve, as people would like to say. So for me, this is just something that I'm tracking now. This is something that I'm not ignoring because for so long now, and I'm talking about years, swing failure pattern has been the trade of the century, right? Of the past decade, let's say, right? Of the past decade, um, swing failure pattern, easy as you like, just super easy, but might not work forever, right? And have we started to get into this trend where swing failure pattern is no longer the trade? Time will tell. It's something that I'm working my statistics on. But for now, anyway, <laughs> long story short, I am actually for uh, waiting for a reclaim. Well, one of two things, right? Reclaim of 64,000, which is currently the weekly level and daily naked point in control. That would give us the sign of strength, in my opinion, to breach up to uh, $67,000. Or alternatively, make our way back down below sixty thousand uh, dollars. Do I see a trade where we are here at sixty one thousand four hundred? No, for me, uh, not even for scalp traders, day traders, swing traders, would I be personally entering along here with that CCV setup target ever so slightly below us. Okay, still needs a little bit of downside, and where we do not have that sign of strength here for me personally to want to enter that long, that just requires for me uh, sitting on my hands and remaining patient. And something that I've emphasized a lot, right? What what can you do in these times of uh, having to remain patient? Now, I'd say you have well, you, you have a lot of options, right? But what I would say is two good options. Uh, option number one, okay, would be to start to venture into some other assets. And you could go into futures, okay? You could go and look at some commodities. Uh, you could, of course, the majority of you watching probably look at the altcoins. And uh, this is something that I've been doing and have done pretty successfully uh, as one of the altcoins that I called last month was Pepe. It was a big list of altcoins that I called, uh, one of them being Pepe. And one month later, we've actually seen a 100% rise to the upside. OK, so I've been telling to my team, you know, for me, it was simple. It was a very pretty easy swing fair pattern of the range low. I actually got stopped out of this trade originally, retook it after the failed auction. So, again, this goes to show very honest and transparent. I did take a first initial loss on Pepe. Why? Because on this wick, I took a long on Pepe. OK, the next day I got stopped out of that trade as we formed a swing failure pattern off the range low. I got stopped out of the long. I left it a few days, waited for the reclaim and then got back into that long trade based off of more of a failed auction setup. Entry price down there around 0.005 on Pepe. Then it just requires patience. Really simply traded the range low long, brought it now up to range high. One month, over 100% moved to the upside. So this is just some emphasizing really, right? If you are remaining patient on Bitcoin, you shouldn't be doing nothing. You should be looking at other assets or maybe for the majority of people, educating yourself, really learning. OK, you can always be improving. There's always something to get better at. OK, so, you know, that's the options that you would have uh, from a from a good use of your time. And so just as I uh, called, of course, Shiba Inu coin at one sat and this printed millions of percentage gain. That was a once in a lifetime trade. I do. I ever think we'll get a, I have a lot of co the reason why I'm commenting on this is I had an, an, an unreal amount of comments. What's the next Shiba? What's the next Shiba? What's the next Shiba? I think it's going to be hard to do another thing like this, right? Changing $210 into $324 million. That's, uh, that's a once in a lifetime trade. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, but there are still trades where you can make hundreds of percentage gains. Okay, what we made on SHIB was out of the ordinary. Calling that one sat it was, I'm not even going to say it myself, like that was very lucky. I was extremely lucky, right? You all know, uh, I will be honest and transparent. I and myself and the other champion members who long this made 
massive profits there was a lot of luck involved right <laughs> but we're not complaining uh but but with that said, we cannot sleep on the new altcoins that are upcoming. And for example, Pepe uh, is one of these coins where we are able to extract hundreds of percentage gains, right? We're not looking at these millions of percent, but there's altcoins here right now, which we can look to make 100, 200, 300% gains, okay, over the course of the next few months. And so I personally feel this is a very good use of our time. OK, so while we are remaining a little bit patient on Bitcoin, let's examine all of the alts. Let's find the best altcoin setups. Of course, this is something that I'm going to be doing. And shout out to Severin, the other chart champions coach who <laughs> puts in the hard work too on these alts and recently called another, you know, what is this? Popcat, Popcat coin, Pepe coin, Popcat coin, the meme coins are the things that are popping right now. So Popcat bringing home the gains, champion members loving this. And I will just tell you this right now. Uh, that I am starting my live trading streams, right? So if you want to actually see me do this live on stream, putting in the entries, getting ready those trades, following that week on week, you can see how I'm growing these accounts. That is what we're going to be doing in the live trading stream for myself. Going to take this with a bit of a swing traders perspective. OK, so you'll see me lining up the trades, getting in it all ready, waiting patiently on Bitcoin, on some altcoins, right? And, you know, I'm just going to have that in front of you, laying it out so there's full transparency. You will see week on week how I'm taking those trades, following along those trades. You're going to absolutely love it. That's all I'm going to say. This is going to be very, very, very good. <laughs> if you want to get involved on this new section that I'm adding, you can, of course, do that via chartchampions.com. Honestly, this is going to be... Uh, let's just wait and see. you could let's just wait wait to see right you're gonna i believe you're gonna absolutely love it it's gonna make a lot of people uh a, a very happy let's just say that you can get my new live trading chartchampions.com of course that starts this month so uh wrapping up here final words on bitcoin I do feel we have to be patient for the swing trades. While we're patient we can be trading altcoins okay for the intraday day trades a little bit of patience but of course there are still trades to be had and for me right now that is a loss of sixty thousand dollars taking out that lower liquidity here or alternatively the reclaim of the weekly 64k uh where i'd be looking for this bit of a squeeze up to uh the well now old because the point of control has changed but the old uh point of control back to 67k okay uh so yeah that's uh that's my outlook on the market that's what i'm waiting for again one final thing before i end i am not coming here to predict what is happening the next week to come i'm actually here to make profits on the reaction of what happens i'm happy to see bitcoin rise i'm happy to see bitcoin drop i know how to make profits any way the market goes that's a skill that we have as traders. We do not care if it rises. We do not care if it drops. We have to set out some plans. We have to mark out some key levels. Wait for the reaction. Trade the reaction. Take home the profits. Move on to the next trade. If you want to do that with me, if you want to do that with Severin, Eagle, or Rivalry, the other coaches, whether it's on Bitcoin, whether it's on the futures, we got you. We got you on the live trading. We got you on the transparency, the honesty, and being at the very top of our game. See us all live, chartchampions.com. Think you love it. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And let's be signing out. Have a good one and goodbye.